allora, perché questa pietra è importante? Chi lo sa? Why is it important? Davide. No idea? That's right. If you look here, we are in the Egyptian gallery. Se guardate qui, siamo nella galleria egiziana. Everything is written in hieroglyphics. Tutto è scritto negli geografi. Hieroglyphics is lost, became a forgotten language. E questa lingua è stata persa, dimenticata. This is just a tax code, it's not very important. E questo è solo la legge fiscale, non è We know demonic, we know Greek. So comparing the demonic and Greek with the hieroglyphics, we can reproduce the alphabet. So when the French discovered this stone, Rosetta Stone, they were able to start to decipher what all of these artifacts meant. Including what we're going to see next. E anche quello che vedremo adesso. So we're going to go and watch them. Quindi andiamo. We have three Americans who have joined our tour. Tre americani. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, let's come this way. Viva Italia. Come on over here. Più vicino, più vicino, più vicino. Che ci stringiamo. Ora sì. You can see this is written in hieroglyphics. Quindi vedete che questo è scritto in geroglifico. Now the British Museum has had this artifact for about three to four hundred years. Quindi questo è nel museo britannico da tre o quattrocento anni. But they never knew what it said. Però non sapevano mai che cosa era scritto qui. Until they saw found the Rosetta Stone in the 1800s. Fino a al punto di trovare questa pietra rosetta che ha decifrato anche questa scrittura. They realized that this is Tarka. E hanno capito che era di Tarka. This is the Tarka that we see in Second Kings 19. Questo è il Tarka. So who is he? Quindi chi è? He's a Kushite. È un Kushito. From the Kushite Empire. Kushita. Come si chiama questo? Kush. From the land of Kush. The Kushites controlled all of North Africa. E loro hanno avevano gestito tutto l'Africa. From west coast of Africa, Senegal today, all the way to Ethiopia. Quindi dalla costa orientale, Senegal fino all'Etiopia. He was, and so he was a superpower of his day. So when Sennacherib went to attack Phoenicia, attack Israel, he went to attack Nineveh. Lui è andato a attaccare in Nineveh. That's why Sennacherib had to quickly return home. E per questo che Sennacherib è dovuto. So now you're heading But the Bible is the only place that talks about it. Solo la Bibbia racconta questa storia. Now this is what's interesting. A few years ago, the archaeologists came across the death kits of the Kushites. Gli archeologici hanno trovato le fosse per i morti. In the Egyptian desert. And they saw the pyramids of the different death pits, the different pyramids for the different kings. It was all over the papers. And it said, interestingly, the greatest pyramid, the, the biggest pyramid, is the pyramid of this Tahaka. Proving he was the greatest of all the Kushite kings. Che dimostra che lui è il re più grande di tutti i re Kushi. But something happened during his reign that started the decline of the Kushites. Ma qualcosa è successo durante il suo regno che ha portato la la fine di questo popolo. We don't know what it is. Non sappiamo che cos'era. And I'm raising my hand and says I know. E io alzo la mano e dico io lo so. If you just read 2 Kings 19 and Isaiah 37, there's the answer. In secondo re 19 e anche in Isaiah 37 c'è la risposta. It was Sennacherib that destroyed Tarka. He started the decline. E Sennacherib che ha sconfitto Tarka. E lui che ha provocato la loro caduta. We don't have to be fearful of these artifacts. Noi non dobbiamo, non dobbiamo avere paura di vedere queste prove, uh, <coughs> questi artefatti storici. Here they found out about a king that the Bible has known about for 2700 years. Loro hanno scoperto un re che già la Bibbia ha uh, uh, descritto. 
And as I always say, e come dico sempre, the more they scratch, the more they find. Più grattano, più trovano. The more they find, the more we shine. E più loro trovano, più noi brilliamo. The more we shine, the more they whine. Più noi brilliamo, più loro si lamentano. Oh, how sublime. Ah, è sublime. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme, I know for you, but it does in English. <laughs> in English it is, the more we scratch, the more we find. The more we find, the more we shine. The more we shine, the more they whine. The more they whine, oh, how sublime. Ah, okay. <laughs> You'll have to get your own Italian one. Are they quite good at inventing rhymes? Yeah, have to. But see how, how good this material is for us. But questo materiale è veramente buono per noi. It no? supports what we already know. Perché sostiene quello che, quello che noi sappiamo già. They're just catching up. E loro devono recuperare. Now, we have one more thing to look at before we go upstairs. E c'è una cosa da guardare prima di andare su. We'll just go over here to the right. Mm -hmm. Quindi ci sono delle scoperte archeologiche che senza la Bibbia non si può fare. Scusa? 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 Okay. Just from Valerie. Valerie is asking, she's asking to divide us in two squares, so that the people don't pass. Some of them are here and some of them are here. Here is the book, so they don't lament. We're now with Nahum, the prophet Nahum. So now we're going to look at the prophet Nahum. Now Nahum, in the first three chapters of the book of Nahum, prophesies that Nineveh would be destroyed by fire and water. Quindi nei primi cinque capitoli del libro c'è la profezia che Gerusalemme, no, Nineveh sarà distrutto da fuoco e di acqua. So we'll take a look at these murals from Nineveh. Quindi guardate questi murali di Nineveh. They're blackened. E sono tutti neri. There is the fire damage. Questo è a causa del danno dell'incendio. Proving Nahum was correct. Quindi questo dimostra che aveva ragione la Bibbia. When we go upstairs, e quando andiamo su, we will see the Babylonian chronicles. Guardiamo le cronache babilonesi. Those, that's the documentary evidence. E questo è una prova. That says that in 615 BC, 615 BC, che dimostra in 615. The Babylonians come and they destroy Nineveh. Fire in the city. Then opening up the coastal gates to the coastal river. And drowning out the city. Exactly. Uh, proving the prophecy of Nahum. Che dimostra che questa questa profezia di Nahum è stato adempiuto. Demonstrate. Okay, now we're going to go upstairs, and we're going to go back in time. We're going to go to the Mosaic period, back to Genesis, the book of Genesis. Quindi adesso torniamo al tempo di Genesi. It's a lot of steps to take us that high. E ci sono tanti scali, molto. Ma io non sto ascoltando niente, sono soltanto concentrato. Good time. You're not tired? Salve. She's 90 years old. Okay, we're now up at the time of 1400 BC. 1394, that period. Look on page 8. Pagina 8. You'll see the three names at the top. Abraham. 1900 BC. Moses, 1400 BC. And just remember those three dates. It will help you to understand what we're going to do next. 
Let's go to Jericho. Andiamo a Jericho. Jericho was well is a, one of the oldest ongoing living cities. È una delle città che esiste ancora e che più antiche del mondo. So many people have gone to Jericho to study it. Quindi molte persone sono andate a Jericho a studiarla. There was a group of German archaeologists that went in 1905. Un gruppo di tedeschi archeologi sono andati nel 1905. And in 1905 they noticed that at the 1400 year period they noticed that the bricks were on the outside of the city. And they said, how can this be? Because certainly we do know that when you attack a city from the outside, the bricks will fall inwards, not outwards. So this did not make any sense. Well, they hadn't read the Bible. Non avevano letto la Bibbia. There were no gathering rams. Non c'è, non hanno distrutto le mura. The angel of the Lord came down, destroyed the walls of Jericho. L'angelo del Signore ha distrutto le mura di Jericho. The same character that destroyed Sennacherib's army downstairs destroyed the walls upstairs. Colui che ha distrutto gli uomini di Sennacherib ha fatto la stessa cosa a Jericho. If they just come back to the Bible, they would find the answer. Se avevano guardato la Bibbia, avrebbero trovato la risposta. Now there have been many, many uh, challenges against the Book of Genesis. So we're going to look at the Book of Genesis and we're going to zero in specifically at Abraham to try to answer some of those questions. So let's go to the next two. Era come descrivevo sto, sto turno. Domani c'è la pratica. Che bello! Ah, dobbiamo mantenere qua il passaggio libero. Ok, ah, sorry. Non devi spostare proprio. Vedete lo passo. Ok, on page 8. There have been many challenges to the book of Genesis because of the cataclysmic events that happened during that time. Molte persone sfidano quello che è scritto in Genesi perché ci sono tanti eventi some of the challenges concern the cities that are referred to in the book of Genesis. And certain critiques, critiques, are in relation to the cities that are mentioned. The cities of Sodom, Gomorrah. Sodom, Gomorrah. The city of Ur. And Ur. The people called the Hittites and the Horites. The Hittites. Hittites and the Horites. But especially the character of Abraham. But especially the character of Abraham. People say there are many specific references to what he did and the customs around his time. The customs. Is there anything to help to corroborate these events, these cities, these people? And we have to find the corroboration. And they have to do with tablets, like you see here. There have been four genres of tablets, or four schools of tablets. The Maori tablets, the Nuzi tablets from the Mesopotamia. Nuzi from what is today Iraq. The Euphrates Valley, between Euphrates and Tigris. Where Abraham came from. The Ebla tablets from Syria. And then these tablets, the Amarna tablets from Egypt. These are the four genre of tablets that are about us to understand how the book of Genesis. Let's look at the Amarna tablets which are listed in the page. Mari tablets. Mari tablets. These tablets were written around 2000 to 1800 BC. Più o meno 2000 
So that in, from the same period or the same place that Abraham comes from. Quindi lo stesso periodo e lo stesso luogo di dove è venuto Abramo. And they talk about King Ariok, which is found in Genesis 14. E parlano di Ariok, di re Ariok, che si trova anche in Genesis 14. They talk about the towns of Nahor and Haran. E parla delle città di Nahor e Haran. In Genesis 24. In Genesis 24. And they talk about a people called the Haveru. E parla anche di un popolo di Haveru. Di Haveru. The Habiru. Who were these Habiru? We're going to come back to that and answer that question. Quindi dovete tenere in mente questa domanda. Let's look at the Nuzi tablets. The Nuzi tablets are also from the same area and the same time period. Anche le tablette Nuzi sono dello stesso periodo e stesso luogo. From around the time of Abraham. Più o meno in tempi di Abramo. They're more specific. So it's few specific. They talk about specific customs. Parlano di usanze specifiche. Look on page 9 and you, I will just list some of the customs they talk about. Sulla su pagina 9 uh, io ho elencato certe usanze. They mention that a barren wife is given a handmaid to her husband. Per esempio che una, una moglie sterile dà a uh, una sua serva uh, a suo marito. We find that the story of Hagar. E noi la sappiamo dalla storia di Ada. That a bride is chosen for the son by the father. That's fun. That's very good. And when a is chosen for the son by the father, that's what we're talking about. That a dowry, that a dowry is paid to the father-in-law. That you find in the story of Jacob. That's the dowry. That's the dowry. The dowry is paid to the father-in-law. That work is done to pay off the dowry. You find that also in the story of Jacob. That work is done to pay off the dowry. You find that also in the story of Jacob. That work is done to pay off the dowry. You find that also in the story of Jacob. It refers to the unchanging oral will of the father. That you find in the story of Isaac. And that the testimony oral of a uh, that your father doesn't change. And that a father gives his daughter a slave girl. That you find in the story, both the story of Leah and the story of Rachel. And that your father gives his daughter a slave girl. That you find in the story, both the story of Leah and the story of Rachel. And that a sentence of death is given for anybody who steals a cult god or a family god, and that we find in the story of Jacob. E anche che c'è la pena di morte per il furto di di un idolo. In fact, they they exactly parallel what we find in the Bible concerning these events. Quindi troviamo esattamente la stessa cosa nella Bibbia. Now, the Nuzi tablets were written between 2000 and 1800 BC. Quindi le tablette Nuzi erano scritte da tra 2000 ad a.C. e 1800. Abraham lived in 1900 BC. E Abramo è vissuto è più o meno nel 1900. In the same area that the Nuzi tablets come from. Nello stesso nella stessa zona di dove viene la tablette Nuzi. Historians believe that the five books of the five books of Moses, or, uh, including Genesis, were written in the 6th century BC and redacted back to a person named Moses. The historians think that the five books of Moses were written in the 6th century BC and they were talking about events very early. How could somebody in the 6th century have known about these customs so accurately? And how could somebody in the 6th century sa con così tanta precisione che cosa succedeva tanto prima. Every one of these customs was was out of date by the 1800s. They no longer existed after the 1800s. Perché dopo le 1800 anni Cristo, questo questi usanze non c'erano più, non erano più contemporanee alla società. So certainly somebody in the sixth century would not have known about these customs. Quindi qualcuno del sesto secolo non avrebbe saputo questo. You see, we believe Moses wrote this. Perché noi crediamo che Mosè ha scritto. Moses was living in the 1400s. Perché Moses was living in the 1400s. Che che è vissuto nel 1400 avanti. How did Moses know about these customs? E come mai Mosè sapeva tutto questo? He was living in that period. Non viste, non ha vissuto in questo periodo. Hundreds of miles away from that area. Molto lontano, centinaia di chilometri. Hundreds of years distance. E mo in una distanza di centinaia d'anni. How did he know so accurately these customs? Quindi come mai lui era così preciso su queste usanze? Well, either there's very good oral tradition, or this is divine knowledge. Allora, ci sono due 